What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new, and I mean brand new, Town Hall 9 attack guide video. I know a lot of people have been asking me where the series is. Uh, the wait is now over. I know we've done a lot of videos on base identification, exposing weaknesses in bases. So I want to shift that a little bit and actually break down and show you guys the best attack strategies right now at the town hall nine uh at the town hall nine level especially with ndl going on we have uh, mlcw we have the cwo right around the corner it will be here before we know it so i want you guys to be set up and be prepared for um all the league wars coming up make sure you guys are grabbing those three stars so what better way to do it is to show the attack strategies right now in the town hall nine attack guide so without further ado, guys, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first attack strategy that we're going to be featuring in the Town Hall 9 attack guide is the Shattered Goho uh, or you know, Shattered Mass Hogs, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the general troop comp is pretty much this one right here with some slight variations uh, depending on the base, but you're always looking at two golems, meaning a shattered entry, uh, two golems for your kill squad, anywhere from 20 to 24 hogs uh, is, pre is pretty normal, uh, anywhere from 8 to 12 wizards, and wall breakers are optional just depending if you need to break into the first layer before you drop down the jump spell right after this one i have an example where there's no wall breakers they're just going to jump straight in so of course wall breakers are optional depending on the base and what you're trying to do but this is always going to be the spell comp for this attack strategy three heal one jump there's no rages we're not raging anything we don't have bowlers in the clan castle what's going to be coming out of that is hogs um so we'll go ahead and pull this up I know a lot of you guys have been liking this lately, and I'm liking it too. It really does help break down the bases. So little LNH is going to be taking on number 38. Uh, his he's literally nameless, um, and basically what you're looking for is a base where you can get a tight funnel set to make sure your heroes go inside of the base. So what he's going to do, he's going to go ahead and drop down a golem right here on this mortar. He's also going to go ahead and drop a golem right here on this wizard tower meaning that he'll be tanking all of these defenses inside of this compartment they'll all be distracted so in doing so he's going to go ahead and drop down a few wizards on each side to make sure he gets a nice funnel set because if you look at it once all these buildings are down right once you get rid of all this trash you get rid of all this trash and then you and then you go ahead and drop down your heroes uh, he's going to break in and he's going to have a jump spell right there in the core. So what this ends up doing is he's going to end up taking out all of these defenses here just with his golems, just with his golems and with his heroes. And of course, the wizards uh, helping funnel. Um, he's going to go ahead and take out literally half of this base. So in by doing so, look at what's left. You'll see he's going to go ahead and, and bring in a bunch of hogs coming in up here. I mean, he's going to flood the gates with hogs where he's going to go ahead. Uh, let me go ahead. Since we've seen the kill squad, we'll go ahead and wipe that out. Get a nice clean slate. So he's going to bring in all of his hogs nice and heavy into this uh, first compartment here where he's going to have where he's going to have a nice heal spell. He's also going to be dropping down his CC hogs up here. Uh, where there is a Tesla right there, where he's going to be dropping down a heal there. And you can already see, and again, you're bringing three heals on this attack strategy. So his last heal is going to be for the last few defenses up. That's what makes this attack strategy so strong. Ideally, we'll go ahead and hit play. Ideally, what you guys want to do is to make sure you carve out the defenses on the initial entry and you want to look for either a dead core where there's no defenses at all, meaning you have a nice path, a nice defense path for your hogs. But yeah, the kill squad breaks the defensive ring. You want to make sure your hogs aren't going to split, and you achieve that by making sure there's no defenses inside of the core. You want to make sure your kill squad um, 
more than likely your king and or your queen taking out the uh, any defenses in the core to make sure you have beautiful hog pathing. Uh, and ideally, you also want a damaged CC. In the next example, we will show you guys this attack where there's a hound uh, that will be in the clan castle. Uh, all that does is slow down the attack before you can send in your hogs. Often, you need to make sure your queen takes out all the pups so they don't peel off onto the hogs. Uh, but yeah, we saw the kill squad did exactly what they were supposed to do. He did have a wall breaker fail, but ended up sent, uh, just jumping everything in. Uh, so even with that slight error, jumping in, he was still able to access that core and take out that sweeper. And you'll see he has a split in his hog, but it's a decent split, especially since he's bringing in those CC hogs to go ahead. And right here, everything meets up where we have that last heal spell pretty much covering all remaining defenses we will still have a couple defenses right here but all these hogs are going to be at full health um but yeah we'll go ahead and talk about the hound cc in uh the next one but this is clearly going to be a three star and you always make sure you send your wizards in uh after your first hog deployment go ahead and bring those wizards down asap once you send your hogs drop down those wizards so you can start clean up asap uh, last thing you want to do is have a time fail, especially on a beautiful attack uh, like this one. So let's go ahead and check out this attack strategy on a different base uh, with a different uh, enemy clan castle. All right, guys. Next up, we have Mr. Player going to be taking on Morgs and a completely different. Uh, whoops, uh, a completely different base layout. Actually, let me let me go ahead and shift this a little bit. There we go. Um, uh, a different base layout notice this one there's no wall breakers we're just going to be jumping straight in and uh, one thing i didn't mention in the last video in the last video in the last attack is the heroes uh ideally you want to have the king and queen uh accessible with your kill squad it doesn't have to be that way um if you do have split heroes but minimum you have got to have your kill squad taking out uh, the enemy queen and, of course, the enemy clan castle troops. So just like we saw in the last attack, we're going to see a golem come down over here, a golem come down over here, and you can see what we want to do on this base is we're going to drop a jump spell right here. Of course, we'll have wizards uh, funneling, as always, uh, to make sure all the heroes go inside of the base. And ideally, what you want to do is, again, like I said, set you want to break the defensive ring to make sure you have a clear path for those hogs and where they are headed you don't even have to worry about air defenses of course this is a ground attack uh so you're looking for things like wizard towers uh, getting an expo on an entry is absolutely huge when you guys are identifying bases to hit um yeah if you can get an expo get the enemy queen get the enemy king is definitely a bonus we do see uh king and queen both right here um and then you just uh, break that defensive ring, take care of the enemy CC troops, and it's pretty much all up to the hogs from that point. Very, very spell heavy on the hogs, bringing three heals. You're only using a jump and your poisons uh, for uh, the heroes or, or for the kill squad. Uh, usually, what you're going to do is you have a max C, uh, you have a, a max poison uh, donated in the clan castle. That's going to be for the enemy CC troops. Um, and then you usually will save your own poison uh, for things like ground skellies, which can do absolute work, especially if all the heals are up and you still got a couple defenses left and you got a bunch of ground skellies. That's when you want to use that uh, poison for the ground skellies. Um, but yeah, and you're going to see the hogs come in very, very heavy again. Uh, we are going to be seeing uh, CC hogs on this base. Um, and yeah, so the entry or, or the hogs will be path once the defensive ring is broke the hogs will be pathing around this base uh counterclockwise we'll go ahead and hit play and watch how mr player goes ahead and takes this base down first golem dropped on the mortar you do see a couple wizards over here i'll go ahead and zoom in uh, so you guys can really see it second golem down uh wizards getting tanked very very nicely 
uh, by those golems. And you can see right there with the jump spell down, that clearly is going to lead into this compartment where we're going to have a couple wizard towers, where we have an expo. Uh, one thing I also did want to mention is this is a fresh hit. We did not know what was going to be coming out of the CC. Uh, but like I said, the uh, all a hound is going to do is slow down the kill squad. Usually uh, when you're bringing a rage and bowlers and things like that, um, not that the bowlers can hit the hound, but uh, the archer queen will be inside of that ra uh, inside of that rage, as long as along with some wizards, which helps beat through the hound even faster. When you don't have a rage and a hound comes out, you just have to be a little more patient before um, you send the hogs out. Yeah, so the queen just gets tied up on it a little bit. Uh, ideally, you want a damage CC uh, or a golem CC, uh, but in the event that you have a hound, it can still work like we're going to see. Uh, you can see right there, Queen is just shy of getting that Archer Tower down, but we did see, or we did see that uh, the Kill Squad did take out that Expo and that Wizard Tower, which is absolutely huge. Hogs coming in on this Wizard Tower. Uh, right before he drops down that heel, he's going to go ahead and drop that right over that Bomb Tower. And notice he does still have CC Hogs to deploy. There they go. They're going to meet up with this group. Uh, went ahead and dropped those CC Hogs on that mortar. Uh, and right here goes ahead and drops down another heal. Uh, that, there was a giant bomb in front of that expo. So good heal placement on that one. And you'll see right here a few defenses left. Uh, over on this side, it's mainly just air defenses. Uh, again, which are not going to do anything to a hog attack. Uh, but right here, uh, the Hogs went ahead and took out that Tesla that was just over the wall. And there's only a couple cannons left. Uh, hogs are nice and full. And you'll see right here, ideally, this is when you'd want to go ahead and drop down those ground skellies. But he's still going to have plenty left up to make sure he gets that three star. Uh, another important thing, again, like I told you guys, getting that cleanup down early. Uh, especially with something like a Hound CC. If uh, if Mr. Player didn't drop down those wizards in time, this more than likely would have ended up in a time fail. Uh, so again, when you first start your initial hog deployment, go ahead, those wizards are protected. Uh, go ahead and get those wizards down on that trash to get that cleanup done. So we'll go ahead and check out the third and final example using the Shattered uh, Goho. Let's get into it. All right, guys, next up we have Baby Epic, AKA Mac Lunch, um, gonna be taking on Leo Sohel using the Shattered Goho with the Hogs in the Clan Castle. No bowlers on this attack strategy. Uh, you can see the spells are the same. Uh, jump, three heal, this was also a fresh hit. Uh, so really exposing the weakness in this base. It was very, very nicely done. Uh, very well executed as well. And again, um, it being a fresh hit made it that much sweeter. Uh, so what we're going to see is we're going to see a golem come down on this mortar. And look at the value he's going to get on this entry. Not only is he going to take out uh, these three archer towers right here. He's going to take out all this, two wizard towers, um, this expo, he's even going to make it into this core and just completely gut this core. Uh, but what he's going to do is he's going to go ahead and drop down one golem over here. Uh, originally, what he wanted to do is drop a golem on this archer tower. There ends up being a Tesla right there, which made it that much sweeter. Uh, other golem will go ahead and be on this mortar. And you'll notice he is going to go ahead and take out both enemy heroes as we do have king there and queen kind of buried in the core uh, but you'll see the value that he gets from his kill squad and again on this attack we have four wizzies and we have uh or we have 10 wizzies four wall breakers uh, but you'll see he's going to go ahead and get his wizards down nice and early and he will be funneling this trash up here at the top um, so once he once he goes ahead and takes this out you'll see that he's clearly going to be breaking uh, that defensive ring and he's going to go ahead and start his hogs uh, down here at about 3 30 4 o'clock he's gonna go ahead and start sending in all of his hogs over here he's gonna have hogs meet up uh, on these mortars as well uh, but you can clearly see he's gonna break the defensive ring and have a beautiful clockwise um, pathing for his hogs completely around the base uh, where they will be ending right here where he will have a heal spell uh, for that final group we'll go ahead and hit play and again like i said this was a fresh hit uh, very very strong attack right now at 
Town Hall 9. So here we go. We have Gollum down. Notice he starts very, very heavy on the Wizards up there. Uh, he's pretty much relying on his Wizards to take out that King. I believe he dropped four or five Wizards up there. Uh, once King is down, look, Gollum's still at half health, even getting beaten on uh, by that King. Uh, look at this beautiful funnel, this tight funnel that his Wizards are setting over here at 3 o'clock. Wall Breaker's down. They go ahead and get the wall popped. And you'll see right here, um, it is a damage CC where he goes ahead and drops down his poison. Uh, and you'll see Queen is going to go ahead and snipe that baby dragon from out of the sky. And look at that jump spell leading everything into this core. And notice he still has both of his hero abilities. Beautiful, beautiful attack. Uh, and you'll see right here, once the king gets into that core, takes out the enemy queen, takes out the air sweeper, uh, you'll see he is going to go ahead and start his hogs nice and early and you always want to save at least two to three wizards for that cleanup there we go hogs are down uh dropping them right here notice he still has queen ability as well guys uh drop down his hogs down here at four o'clock he's gonna go ahead and drop a few more down on that mortar first heal spell is down still has queen ability up uh, so getting amazing value uh from that kill squad and you'll see right here goes ahead and drops down his second heal uh, covering both of those wizard towers that heal even catching uh, that archer tower so all hogs have now been deployed uh, queen is just beating on a wall beautifully beautifully done by his archer queen uh, and we'll see the last heal spell will be covering all of the last defenses uh, gi uh, giant bomb was on uh, the other side of that tesla but that heal spell covered it up and ends up even swagging a poison and his Archer Queen ability, even saving an Archer. You always want to bring, especially if there's huts too, guys, uh, make sure you bring anywhere from two to four Archers on this attack strategy. But that's how it's done, guys. Uh, the Shattered Goho, a very, very strong attack, a very basic attack that does very well, whether you're hitting fresh, uh, whether you're doing cleanup, uh, as long as you can get a nice funnel set for your heroes, uh, you can get value from that jump spell where you can break the defensive ring, get rid of any defenses, uh, if there are any inside the core and pick a side to start your hogs on where you got the three heal spells for them. Uh, but that's pretty much gonna do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Town Hall 9 Attack Guide uh, is back and in full effect. We'll be doing uh, different attack strategies. Uh, we always will be featuring three replays for you guys to really help you out. And we, all, we, and we are gonna be doing the same thing with Town Hall 10 Attack Strategies. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, uh, make sure you hit that like button, comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.